Okay, so I keep getting these... I got the Santa thing in the mail. Of course, I didn't fill it out, so they show up at your door. This They made three attempts. The first time I was here, I didn't answer. Second time... Yeah, the first time I answered, I talked to him. I didn't give any information. Um, the second time, I didn't. I wasn't here. They left a notice. Okay, the third time, like yesterday, they were. I was here, but I didn't answer the door. They left another notice. I took the bottom portion off. That actually has my address on it. Um, so I ripped it off, stapled it right to the form. To the letter that I printed out, and it simply states that to to whom it may concern. This is what you can send in instead of filling out the form, you can send this in. But I'm going to leave it on my door for him to take. With a nice little thing that says, send us on it, the envelope. <laughs> Pursuant to Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3 of the Constitution, the only information you are empowered to request is the total number of occupants at the address. At this address, which in parentheses I put, which is one person. My name, sex, age, date of birth, race, and Authenticity, telephone number, relationship, and housing tenure have absolutely nothing to do with portioning direct taxes or determining the number of representatives in the House of Representatives. Therefore, neither Congress nor the Senate's Bureau have the constitutional authority to make that information request a component of the enumeration outlined in Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3. In addition, I cannot be subject to a fine for basing my conduct on the, the Constitution because that document trumps laws passed by Congress.